Babies, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are doing an ingredient deep dive into Olive M1000, a natural emulsifying wax that I use extensively in my Formula Botanica coursework. In today's video, we will be covering what Olive M1000 is, why we use it in our formulations, how to use it in our formulations, substitution suggestions, and then we will wrap up with five free formulations that you can make using Olive M1000. As always, please think of these ingredient deep dives as the partner video for the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia entry on the same ingredient. So if you are looking for a quick written reference, please make sure you check that out. I'll link to it in the description box below. What is Olive M1000? Olive M1000 is a natural, non-ionic, self-thickening emulsifying wax that creates oil and water emulsions. It is PEG-free, vegan, and readily biodegradable. Manufacturer studies have shown it to be a microbiome-friendly functional ingredient that preserves skin's cutaneous microbiota composition and biodiversity. The inky for Olive M1000 is Cetyryl Olivate and Sorbitan Olivate. From the Olive in the name and the olive eights in the inky, you can probably guess that Olive M1000 is partially made from olive oil. Olive M1000 is sold as thin, brittle white flakes that can look a lot like other thin, brittle white flakes, so make sure you are reading your labels as you formulate so you don't accidentally swap it for something else. Hallstar has an entire line of Olive M products, of which Olive M1000 is one of them. These products are not interchangeable for one another. For instance, you can't use Olive M900 or Olive M300 instead of Olive of M1000 or vice versa. They're just part of the same line or sort of branded grouping. They're not interchangeable ingredients. Why do we use Olive M1000 in our formulations? Very basically, we use Olive M1000 in our formulations for the same reasons we would use any emulsifying wax in a formulation. It brings together oil and water and helps create stable emulsified lotions and creams. It contributes some viscosity to our formulation, so this is not its primary purpose. And it also contributes gentle rinse off properties to cleanser formulations. So with that in mind, why choose Olive M1000 in particular, I think its biggest strengths are that it is a relatively easy to find, at least in North America, natural emulsifying wax that's really quite easy to work with. If you are interested in natural formulation and you're finding formulations that call for ingredients like emulsifying wax enough, you can generally swap that emulsifying wax enough for all of them 1000, just one for one, and that naturalizes your emulsifier in that formulation. How do you work with all of them 1000? Well, first things first, it is solid, so you're going to need to melt it to do much of anything with it. It melts around 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit and I usually include it in my heated oil phase. Olive M1000 works to emulsify creams and lotions when included at 20 to 25 percent of the oil phase. If it's being included in an anhydrous formulation like a cleansing balm for added rinse off, you don't need to calculate it at that 20 to 25 percent of the oil phase. That will typically be far too much and will result in a cleanser that is too strong on the skin. I'd start with 5 to 10 percent for formulations like that. One downside of Olive M1000 is that it really is quite prone to soaping, which is that kind of white cast, that sort of low lather that can build up when you massage an emulsion into the skin. You can try to reduce the soaping effect by including ingredients like esters, fatty alcohols, silicones, and natural silicone alternatives in your formulations, but even then, I do find that all of them 1000 just really likes to soap. You can twist that soaping effect around on its head and make it a feature, not a flaw though, in cleansing products where you do want that effect because people associate it with the product working. What can you use instead of Olive M1000? As a bare minimum, you will need another self-thickening emulsifying wax. For a natural alternative, Redemulse SCG can work, but keep in mind that it has narrower requirements in terms of pH, charge and oil phase size. So you'll need to research that ingredient, look it up in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia, and make sure that everything else that's happening in your formulation is compatible with Redemos SCG. Montanov 68 should also work really well, though in my limited experience formulating with this emulsifier, I find it to be even more soaping prone than all of M1000. So depending on how bothered you are by the soaping effect, this might not be the emulsifier for you. And my last natural substitution suggestion is Poly Aqual 2W, which I'm still pretty new to, but I am absolutely loving so far. I find it to be a lot less soapy than both Olive M1000 and Montanov 68, and it creates gorgeous emulsions. For not natural alternatives, Emulsifying Wax NF and Polo Wax will work as very easy one-to-one -one swaps, though you might notice that your finished product is ever so slightly thinner. You could use Glycerol Stearate and PEG 100 stir it there you'll only need about half as much of it and then because it won't thicken your formulation you'll need to get that thickening from somewhere else typically by adding in some satyryl alcohol 
For more information on this, please make sure you watch the deep dive I did into glycerol stearate and PEG100 stearate. I'll link to that in the description box below. You could also try BTMS25 or BTMS50, though remember that they are cationic, so they are going to add the cationic conditioningness to your formulation. And if there's anything anionic in your formulation, that could potentially cause some problems. And for some things you cannot use, you can't just choose another member of the all of them family. And you also can't use a true wax like beeswax or candelilowax or an isolated fatty thickener like cetyl alcohol because those things aren't emulsifiers and so they won't create an emulsion. And that's what all of them 1000 is for. And so, yeah. If you use a thing that's not an emulsifier, instead of an emulsifier, your formulation is not gonna do so hot. And lastly, let's wrap up with five free formulations that you can make using all of M1000. Formulation number one is my Pemberley hand lotion. This luxurious hand lotion was my final project for my Formula Botanica Diploma in Organic Skincare formulation. I designed this lotion to be richly hydrating and moisturizing, but lightweight. It contains hyaluronic acid, fragrant rose hydrosol, soothing colloidal oatmeal, and a stunning blend of essential oils for a bright, complex, really high-end scent. My mom absolutely adores this lotion. If you would like to learn more about Formula Botanica and potentially try them out, they are going to be offering a free masterclass quite soon. So I'll link to that in the description box below if you'd like to sign up, along with my reviews of the two courses that I have done with them. Formulation number two is my Almond Oat Balm to Milk Cleanser. This creamy anhydrous formulation takes advantage of all of M1000's ability to add rinse off properties. It's a balm to milk cleanser, also known as a cleansing balm. When this balm is combined with water, it transfers into a creamy milk that rinses off the skin beautifully. And that's all thanks to the inclusion of all of M1000. Formulation number three is my Winter Solstice Cleansing Cream. This gentle cleanser is part of my ongoing Winter Solstice formulation series that I typically share around the Northern Hemisphere's Winter Solstice in December. It's basically a lotion and can be used as a lotion, but I'm marketing it as a cleanser. This formulation takes advantage of all of M1000's emulsifying abilities, both to create the emulsion and the rinse off. And as a bonus, you won't mind the soaping effect of all of M1000 in this formulation because you're expecting it to kind of soap and lather because it is a cleanser. Formulation number four is my Radiant Berry Hand and Body Cream. This pretty pink hand and body cream stars a blend of berry oils cranberry oil, raspberry oil, and blackberry oil. It's emulsified with all of M1000 and has a lovely tart, fresh scent that is entirely from those beautiful carrier oils. If you happen to make a cranberry glycerite with me back in December, this would be a brilliant formulation to use it in. And our last formulation that you can make using all of M1000 is my Winter Solstice Facial Polish. This is a gentle anhydrous facial exfoliant that grew out of experiments that I did for my Formula Botanica Diploma in Organic Skincare formulation coursework. A blend of Rasool clay, activated charcoal, and jojoba beads is blended in a creamy anhydrous base to gently physically exfoliate the skin. I've included both all of M1000 and sodium cocal isothionate in this formulation to ensure that it rinses off the skin beautifully. And that is it! Thank you so much for watching! If you would like to learn more about Emulsifying Wax NF, please click here! And if you'd like to learn more about the somewhat naked and wonderful glycerol stearate and PEG100 stearate, click here. Thanks again, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!